much of valve disease can occur with many different manifestations, and they all have uh, different uh, degrees of, of treatment options as well. For example, uh, people can have leaking mitral valves or mitral valve regurgitation. They can have a mitral valve that is too narrow or too tight, that's called mitral stenosis. Or they can simply just have a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of floppiness to the, uh, to the heart valve leaflets, which is sometimes termed mitral valve prolapse. With mitral valve prolapse, the leaflets will kind of bend up into the top chamber of the heart, but they don't truly give way and, and, and lead to valve leakage. The difference is that mitral valve prolapse can sometimes be detected as a murmur, but it doesn't really have any, any physiologic consequences that need to be treated. So for people with mitral valve prolapse, oftentimes they can just be followed long term. People with mitral valve regurgitation, if it's severe mitral valve regurgitation, uh, often benefit from some form of treatment. Sometimes that treatment can be uh, simply medication, but sometimes the treatment needs to be surgical correction of the valve. Likewise for mitral valve stenosis. Uh, mitral valve stenosis, depending on its severity, can sometimes be treated by simply ballooning open the valve, but sometimes heart surgery is actually needed to replace the valve. When people with mitral valve disease are cared for uh, at Allegheny Health Network, we try to consider a variety of treatment options. Uh, sometimes those treatment options are best achieved with just medications. Sometimes heart surgery is needed. And then sometimes there are, kind of, there are technology focused treatments that allow patients to have more minimally, minimally invasive approaches to their treatment, uh, such as catheter based treatments or robotic based treatments where heart surgery can be performed through small incisions. We even consider investigational treatments. We're very proud to be able to offer uh, access to investigational treatments uh, for people within our region that aren't necessarily available in other areas of this region or throughout the country. Uh, we're very, we, take those, uh, we take those recommendations uh, uh, very responsibly, uh, but sometimes it's nice to know that there is a, uh, an investigational or even experimental option that could be best for someone that we can provide access to. We happen to do a, a very good job with mitral valve disease uh, here at Allegheny Health Network. We were recently recognized by the Mitral Foundation in combination with American Heart Association as a mitral valve repair reference center. And really what that means is that we have a high volume of patients, meaning we have a lot of experience with mitral valve disease and, and, and typically end up with a greater than 95% likelihood of valve repair for patients who undergo surgery and a greater than 99% survival rate. And, uh, and those, are, those are high bars that, uh, that are measured over, over many years. And uh, we're obviously very proud of the accomplishment, but it only comes from hard work from a, uh, from a number of people that are, that are entirely invested in the program.